you there. Oh. Oh, you're living. How rare. What are you doing in Greyleaf? You're singing in the middle of a swamp, alone. I think between the two of us, you're the one with the story to tell. Is anyone really alone when Mortis may be nearby? No matter. I'm Lady Darkoil, leader of the Darkhold Brigade in Varentor. The pleasure's mine. As you're clearly new to these forests, I could help you get your bearings. Most of what I know of the Forests of the Lost are legends. What can you tell me about this place? Thousands of years ago, Mortis rose from the dead body of Saloniel, goddess of the life stream. The newly born goddess of death became queen of the necromancers of Greyleaf and built her army of undead hordes here. But then, everyone knows that. So, where is everyone? I just assumed I'd be some slobbering monster's feast by now. As did I. The goddess and her hordes are here, but something's changed in them. Better to thank a blessing than question it, I'd say. If I'm going to get the undead on my side, I'll need to find their leader. They have a council, right? Bold, aren't you? I don't know if the Council of Six are in Greyleaf. But there's strange activity to the north, which is why I stick to the southern roads. You mentioned you're part of a brigade in Veranta Or. That's a long way from here. After being threatened with being marked pure as punishment for losing our last battle, I fled. Wars are hardly the honorable pastimes they used to be. Fine to meet you, lady. Walk in the High Father's holy light, Traveler. Pray often, and sleep little. Good advice in these parts. The father of the lost tolerates intruders on occasion. This is not such an occasion.
You mess with Abby, you mess with me! Breaking the line. Mounting an offensive. Pressing the enemy. Scorch this impurity. Move out. It's your death. You see me. Feel the snake's bite. I think we're getting good at this. Glory and honor. On the offensive. <laughs> We make our stand here. <laughs>
You will be purged. You're done. Help! The Liberator reigns! Feel my blade fight! You mess with Avi, you mess with me! On the offensive. On the offensive. <laughs> I'm going. Now you see me? will be victorious. Mounting an offensive.
moving. Feel my blades bite! I'll sneak past them. Feel the snake's bite! You mess with Avi, you mess with me! I'd like these woods better if there weren't so many things bent on killing us. Ah, no. Where's the fun in that? What is this? Mortis' power wanes. If the goddess of death is dying, and it is our guess that she is, we must act. You intend to use this to save Mortis somehow? No! We intend to end her reign once and for all. An opportunity like this comes once an epoch at best. If you've come to volunteer yourself to the throne, proceed. My guess is those bodies weren't volunteers? Their will hardly matters now. Nor does yours, little man.
We ride from Ilion to negotiate an alliance between our land and yours. The goddess of death is not here to negotiate. And I, well, I don't want truce. I want your death. You mess with Avi, you mess with me! Mounting an offensive. Mortis. Let's move. Now you see me. Feel my blade fight. I, th I think we're getting good at this. Glory and honor. We make our stand here. Hey. <sighs> Pr 
suppressing the enemy. We will be victorious. Wear them down. <laughs> You stink of the living. Can you hear her calling to us? Holding the line. <laughs> Will be no surrender. <laughs> Walk in his light. Watch this impurity. Mortis. The life stream drains from you.
killed, or I will cut off your head. Enough! Well done, young fiend. Well done. What? You are spectacular, otherworldly. It's been a century since I last met a fighter with your, ah, vigor. You said you seek alliance. Consider it yours, if you help reap the flesh we need for this throne. I nearly killed you. You're either very forgiving or very crazy. I'm very both, as are you. Which is why an alliance is all the more valuable. But it cannot be struck without flesh sacrifice! I can't be the only one who's feeling nervous about this. He's powerful, crazy, needs our help. We'll worry about the details later. Right. Regret later, act now. Regret later, act now. Now then, deal? I won't kill anyone just because you say so, necromancer. Oh, please. Call me Ejimar. Enemy of the Vale, the Elves, Mortis. Enemy of a great number of things. I'm Aviana. Truth be told, if you can find willing participants for our ritual, there need be no fighting at all. But I wouldn't recommend it. Everyone should have the pleasure of dying when they least expect it. Leave the details to me, Ejimar. I'll help build this throne, and in return... The liberated hordes of Greyleaf do anything you ask. You're building a temple of rotting flesh. What I don't understand is why, or how. Instructing my minions to harvest flesh resulted in them tearing each other to shreds. How children fight for the love of a parent. Their bodies made fine contributions just the same. My incantation to free us from Mortis' control requires only blood sacrifice now. Lots of it. You mentioned you're trying to free yourself from Mortis. What happened to her? Better minds have been driven mad, questioning the fickle will of gods, young fiend. Know only that Mortis's will is to unite the world in death, but that will wanes. You don't strike me as picky, but let's assume you were. Where do I find the best sacrifices? My taste in flesh is hardly discerning, it's true. From the tomb of Tuchulkan to the eastern wastes, I want any, and I want many! I like to know who I'm working with, Edgemar. Well, there was a time, over a century ago, when I was an archmage to Demosthenes II. I was among the first to serve the Vale. I killed a man who stood in the way of my rise to power. The Vale posthumously named him a saint, and damned me to cleansing. I chose a different path. Necromancy. And why not? The only thing worse than a naked obsession with power is a hidden obsession with power. I'll be back. Try not to kill anyone while I'm gone. I knew we were looking for the leader of Greyleaf's hordes, but he's not exactly what I was expecting. No, but we found him, and he needs us. That's not a bad position to be in. Ilion will become whatever you make of it in the end. But be honest with me, I swear not to judge. Have you gone mad? I was wondering the same thing. You nervous? I'd say worry is appropriate, given that with a wave of his finger he could turn us into zombies! We'd have to be dead first, so my opinion, let's not die. Oh, don't die. In Greyleaf, home of necromancers and the dread queen of death. Perfect plan.
Worried about me being alone, traveler? No need, I assure you. Fine to meet you, lady. Look, these bodies are newer. I think I'm gonna be sick. After, help me collect this for that necromancer. and close. I trust the hunt for flesh invigorates you. I'll be back. Try not to kill anyone while I'm gone. I promise nothing, young fiend.
You there, take care in these parts. The lich they call the Lost One is said to watch over the forests. We're on the lookout for the Twilight Twins, a pair of terrorists that attacked the Church of St. Darchild. Word is they were seen here. Have you seen this woman? She was a mercenary, not a terrorist. And how would you know that? Because that woman is me. Feel my blades bite! I'll sneak past them. Moving. Holding the line. Mounting an offensive. We make our stand here. Breaking the line. Wear them down. I march on. Mounting an offensive. There will be no surrender. <laughs> we will be victorious. We make our stand here. Breaking the line. Wear them down. I call on his holy fury. Make your stand here.
This suffering must end. Stand down! Ha. Alien forever. That was close. What do you say we offer these bodies to Edgemar? I'd say it serves them right for not having a picture of me on there, too. You've been bitten. All of you have. You know what this means. I... of course we do. I've lived 700 years and this is how it ends. Hunting some cursed grimoire in some cursed wood. No four heavens. No bathing in the life stream. Just a god's forsaken second waking. Avi, we have to do something. You're kind, young child. But there's nothing to be done. Our flesh is our soul's prison. Mortis has seen to that. There is another way. To the north, a necromancer is building a towering throne to Mortis. Surrender your bodies while you can. Surrender the body and the spirit goes free? Yes, very clever. We will do just that. Thank you, Traveler. <laughs> 